Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to That's Football, your latest football news. Jack Grealish to Manchester City is a done deal. Um, this is apparently a done deal. Uh, £88 million. It will be announced after the Euros. I'll be giving you the full details of where this is coming from and what it means for football in a moment. But as you can see, we're sponsored by Free Trade this morning. Check this out. Hello, Reed. Today's show is sponsored by Free Trade. Free Trade is a trading app that makes it simple for beginners and experts to invest in stocks, shares. We've all tried those super complicated trading apps that make it so hard to understand what's going on and that you end up leaving after just a few days. Well, I'm pleased to report that the guys at Free Trade have made their app so user friendly, even I can make it work. And I'll let you into a little bit of a secret, actually. I didn't even know how TikTok works until Seb showed me the other day. So the fact that I could work free trade shows how simple it is to use. One of the things I hate about most trading apps is all the hidden fees. So it's very refreshing to see a trading app that has no hidden fees at all. It's nice to finally see a stockbroker with a model that you can trust. Free Trade currently works with over 700,000 investors and has been the winner of the British Bank Awards two years in a row, 2019 and 2020, for best online trading platform. So if you're interested in getting involved with some stocks and shares trading, then go to freetrade.io slash Mark Goldbridge. The link is in the channel description. Set up a Free Trade account and get yourself a free share worth up to £200. As with all investing, your capital may go up as well as go down, and you may not get back the same amount you put in. Capital at risk. Thank you again to Free Trade for sponsoring the show. Now let's get on with the stream. So, Jack Grealish to Aston Villa, £88 million. This is going around the industry on the quiet. It's hitting some news outlets, but I can tell you for a fact this is going around good sources, clubs are aware. And Manchester United are not going to be that club that gets Jack Grealish. Not Chelsea, certainly not Arsenal. He's going to be going to Manchester City for £88 million. And this deal will be announced after the Euros. Now, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that to see if there is uh, how accurate this story is. But £88 million done after the Euros is the story in relation to Manchester City and Jack Grealish. And I think it's an absolutely fantastic deal for them to do. I really do. I think that it's a deal that to me makes me you know well it makes me it makes me jealous it makes me jealous to be honest i mean i i think that there is a shift i spoke about this a few days ago that manchester city are now a club that's going to go beyond that 50 60 million threshold that they've been doing for a decade they're now going to go you know let's do it let's start flexing these muscles let's go beyond the 70 80 million mark and let's start bringing in the big players and Jack Grealish for £88 million, pounds. I mean, is it overrated? And I suppose the big thing is, does it improve Manchester City? Now, apparently Man City are willing to if, listen to offers for Mares and Sterling. Now, I mean, Jack Grealish is a fantastic player and I'd love him at Manchester United. But Man City have been the best team in, you know, consistently one of the best teams in the Premier League for a long time. And I think Mares is a fantastic player. I think he's underrated. Sterling, I think, is a good player, a great player for City. Um, so it's interesting that you would move those players on to bring Jack Grealish in. Is the Jack Grealish level massively different from Mares and Sterling? And, you know, that's a question for you to answer. For me, I don't want to come across as negative because I'm not getting Grealish. I want Grealish at United. So I think Man City are getting a fantastic player. And I think Jack Grealish playing in a club like that in a Champions League team, playing in the Champions League, is going to be very, very interesting to watch. And I think he's a he's a player that Man City certainly will give Man City more publicity, which is what they desperately want. Man City are winning titles. Man City, uh, but they're not winning the eyes of the media. They're not winning the eyes of the fans. I think everyone appreciates them, but they're not building out brand Man City. And I think... You know, maybe a Jack Grealish brings you far more exposure than a Riyad Mahrez or a Raheem Sterling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't I don't live in that world myself. I don't know what the youth today are, are like, you know, attracted to in relation to, oh, I'm going to be a Man City fan. I'm going to buy a Man City shirt. But as a footballer, I think Jack Grealish is, is fantastic. And I think to, the, the thing that scares me about Grealish going to a rival is that it's very obvious when you play Aston Villa that if you keep Jack Grealish quiet, they haven't got another player like that. And yet, teams don't keep Jack Grealish quiet. So, I'm not saying Villa are a one-man team, but he's definitely their best player. And yet, he's still their best player, even when everyone knows you need to swamp him and keep him quiet. So, imagine him in a team where he's going to get more space. Imagine him in a team where he's got people like De Bruyne um, and you know Gundogan and other players around him to share that load and give him more space and give him better ball. And also at Villa, 
you're probably spending a lot more time of the game defending than you are attacking. Well, at Man City, you're going to be attacking a lot more than when you're defending. So the opportunities for Jack Grealish to take his game to another level, to play in the Champions League and become a better player, are, are infinite, really. He's got loads of opportunities there. So look, yeah, Jack Grealish to Manchester City, £88 million. Very specific price being mentioned. Very specific done deal being mentioned but it will be announced after the Euros. Now that, much like Jadon Sancho to Manchester United, I don't think that means after the Euros final. I don't think Man City and Pep Guardiola are really obsessed with watching that final in a couple of weeks and then going, let's announce, let's announce Grealish. I think if England are out tomorrow night, Grealish could be a Man City player by the end of the week. Um, the feeling is that this is, this is just about England's involvement in the Euros. And once that's done, Jack Grealish will become a Man City player. He may go on holiday first, but... This is a done deal, and apparently, apparently it's a done deal for quite a while. Apparently this has been done since the end of the season. So it's been done for quite a while. Man City have made that decision. And look, taking away my Manchester United support here, I've got to say, as an English man and as a big fan of Jack Grealish, that is a massive endorsement for a player, for Pep Guardiola to say, I want to spend £88 million on you. What a feeling that must be, because United didn't want to do it a year ago. Oli did want him, but they didn't want to pay the fee. So it's interesting. It's interesting that they've gone to do that, and it's interesting to see how it's going to work out. And look, through gritted teeth, I will be very attentive to what Grealish does when he steps up. I'm just sad he's going to be doing it in a Man City shirt. Do I think it makes Man City the best team in the world? No. I think they already have got good players that they're probably going to replace Grealish with. But does is it a good signing? Is it an exciting signing? Yes. And do I wish he was coming to Manchester United? Oh, 100% I do. Does it stop Man City buying Harry Kane? I don't think it does. I mean, £88 million a lot of money to spend on one player, but Man City have got a lot of money. And I think with the Grealish deal, they're going to try and make a lot of that money back. You know, they might get 50 million for Sterling. He's still in his mid-20s. They might get 60 million. Mares, they might get 30 million for, in which case you've took two players out to bring one player in. But interesting, interesting signing. Let's see when it's going to get announced. Smash a like on the video. Get your comments in below. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, free trade is the link in the video description to check that out. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you on the watch-alongs later.